The carbon dioxide laser can be used for many things on the skin. One of the things that it can do is improve scars. In this case, we have a deep scar from chickenpox, although similar scars can be seen from surgical scars, wrinkles, and acne. The first step in the procedure is to identify the scar, which in this case we have right here on the forehead. So we clean the skin. This is not considered sterile, but it is considered clean. The next step is to go ahead and numb the skin. That is required for the laser to be a comfortable procedure. The laser itself is very, very safe. One of the uncommon side effects though is damage to the eye. And so because of that, we do use eye protection both for the patient and the physician. So now that the area has been cleaned and numbed, we can put the appropriate settings in the laser that correspond to the type of scar we're treating and the location that we're treating. So after the area has been cleaned and numbed, the settings have been appropriately chosen in the laser, then we can go ahead and get started. The laser is like a stamping tool. And essentially, The laser stamps along the entire area of the scar. So now one pass has been done. We put the laser on standby and then we wipe off the char that forms on the surface. You can see that some of that scar tissue is already wiping away. Now typically the laser needs one to two passes. Because this is a slightly deeper scar, we're gonna go ahead and retreat the same area with the laser. Just like a stamp. The laser heats areas of the skin and this stimulates the body to generate more collagen. And then once again, the char is wiped away. And if you look closely at the skin, you can see that the top layer has been smoothed and the deeper effects of the laser will take several months to show. So we usually bring people back about two weeks to check how the wound is healing. And then in about two months to see if we need more than one treatment. The effects of the laser really take two to three months because that is how long it takes for the bo body to create collagen. The next step is now to clean and bandage the area. Mm -hmm.